There's no way you could have avoided hearing the term white hole if you've ever seen a science fiction film, or even have a passing familiarity with astronomical discoveries made in the last century. Even though the idea is relatively new, it has quickly become the most intriguing and puzzling in the cosmos. However, their existence remained debated until this year. In terms of weirdness, however, they pale in comparison to their theoretical identical twins, black holes. Although we have not seen a stable example of one, they are theoretically possible because of the same mathematics and general relativity concepts that underpin the existence of black holes. Some sources suggest that we may have discovered a white hole. That much is true. After years of guesswork and investigation, scientists have finally uncovered the proof. An actual white hole has been spotted for the first time. But just what exactly is a white hole? And why is it causing such a stir among astronomers? In this video, we will be discussing the recent discovery of the first ever white hole. You might think of a white hole as the theoretical antithesis of a black hole. The gravity produced by black holes is so powerful that not even light can escape from their proximity. The event horizon is the area beyond which escape from a black hole requires greater speed than the speed of light. Nothing in space can travel faster than the speed of light is predicted by Einstein's theory of special relativity. They consume matter until it is crushed into an impossibly dense ball or singularity. A black hole might contain as much mass as a million suns, yet be little bigger than a single sun. However, because it prevents light from escaping, if you stared at one, you wouldn't be able to see it. Instead, the way these gigantic objects distort space-time around them gives away their presence. To put it simply, this is Einstein's theory of general relativity. The same principles of general relativity that are considered to explain the existence of black holes also suggest the existence of white holes. White holes are thought to have gravity and attract matter, yet anything headed toward one would never make it. For the same reason that white holes are the inverse of black holes, light and matter are unable to enter them. Instead, they perpetually release matter and energy, sealing off their event horizons making it impossible for anything to re-enter. Light and matter would appear to be ejected into space from these objects, making them look like black holes seen in reverse. If a spaceship got too close to a white hole, it would be annihilated by the immense amount of energy it would be subjected to. Even if your spaceship is built to withstand gamma rays, the light will start to slow you down, just like air resistance does on Earth. Space-time would be distorted strangely around a white hole, Getting near a white hole would be like walking uphill, even if the spacecraft is built to stay unaffected by the energy release. As your speed decreases, the needed acceleration rises. You couldn't possibly go inside, even if you used all the energy in the universe. This, of course, is a bit counterintuitive. If a white hole's energy appears to originate from nowhere, where does it come from? Because of this, the possibility of their existence is low. While not exactly as described by general relativity, white holes may be possible in other theories. Black holes in deep space grab at everything, but their white hole counterparts do the opposite, making deep space a terrifying environment with a lot of competing forces. The theoretical counterpart to a black hole is called a white hole. Once matter has passed the event horizon, it is trapped forever by the black hole's immense gravitational attraction. Within the confines of a white hole, space and time expand inexorably in all directions. Since white holes are thought to have an event horizon radius that precludes the entry of any stuff, including light, they are thought to radiate light at levels equal to the force of a black hole. The mathematical allure of black holes inspired the hypothesis of white holes, Later, Einstein offered his general theory of relativity, which holds that gravity exists and is experienced by all mass-containing objects, but is a warping of space and time. The Schwarzschild metric is the outcome of an extension of Einstein's field equations by Carl Schwarzschild, who used them to solve the equation of mass in empty space-time, or perhaps an area absolutely devoid of all matter. Despite its seeming complexity, this equation is nothing more than a model of a black hole in mathematics. In contrast, the black hole described by Schwarzschild's equation is an eternal black hole that neither gains nor loses mass and does not grow or shrink over time. As was previously established, anything that happens beyond the event horizon is infinitely distant into the future 
and hence never happens in the eyes of an observer on the outside. The Schwarzschild metric proves that at the hypothetical black hole, space and time switch places, making the singularity of the black hole a point in the distant future rather than a specific location. If you reverse time in a genuine black hole, you'll see a fading star, but in an endless one, you'll create a white hole. Researchers have speculated that matter and energy that fall into the black hole may have originated from a white hole elsewhere in the universe or another universe. This is just one of several possibilities on the origin of white holes. Black holes and white holes may share another connection. Upon death, black holes may transform into white holes, as postulated by Carlo Ravelli and his French co-workers. It is postulated by Ravelli and his co-workers that, if space and time are made up of indivisible amounts called quanta, then even collapsing black holes would not be able to disappear. A study that attempts to unify general relativity, that clarifies the nature of gravity with quantum mechanics, that can explain the characteristics of all known elements into one theory that really can describe all the forces in the cosmos, has led to the discovery that space-time itself is quantum. When a black hole's mass evaporates to the point where it can't shrink anymore because space-time can't be squeezed into something smaller, Ravelli and his colleagues predicted in 2014 that the dying black hole will rebound into a white hole. However, Ravelli and his co-workers proposed method of a black hole's eventual transformation into a white hole is very slow. According to Ravelli's calculations, the age of the universe would have to increase by a factor of nearly a quadrillion before a black hole with the mass of the sun would have been converted into a white hole. Even more importantly, this hypothesis argues that, unlike black holes, which emerge from the collapse of dying stars, white holes cannot be formed directly. White holes in these competing theories emerged a fraction of a second after the Big Bang, as random density fluctuations in the newborn universe's hot, fast expansion. Primordial black holes, which would have been far less than black holes of star mass, might have died to produce white holes within the lifespan of the universe, are hypothesized to have formed at sites where these fluctuations brought matter together. As Ravelli and his co-workers pointed out, white holes are still purely theoretical at this point. However, this does not mean that the science behind one's discovery should be disregarded. After all, black holes were once just a theory before they were not only proven to exist, but also found to be ubiquitous throughout the observable universe. The concept has the ability to address a number of physics problems, and there are hypotheses that suggest white holes do exist, while other scientists dispute this. The first is known as the black hole information paradox, and it states that any data entered into a black hole would be lost forever when the black hole died and faded away into nothing. However, since information is thought to be a violet and cannot be destroyed, this problem would be easily resolved by quantum bounces. When a black hole transforms into a white hole, all of its data is instantly erased. There is one thing we can guarantee. You should not try to test this idea. No white holes have been seen till now. All is just predicted. That's all for this video. Leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Also, take a minute out and subscribe to our channel. Stay tuned and see you soon.